Okay, so we are now with your with your first topic in your science, technology, and society, which is entitled as historical antecedents of science and technology in the world. Okay, so these are the objectives of your these are the objectives of your PPT or for your module one. Okay, so this entire uh, this is about the history of science and technology in the world. So which means it starts from the ancient into the medieval to the modern ages. So this is the evolution of science and technology. Okay, so when you say ancient came from our ancestors. Okay, pa sa ating mga kalupaluluhan. Okay. Ancient age, this is a gave birth to the three chronologically successive prehistoric periods. So these are the stone, the bronze, and then the other one, which is what you call the iron ages. Uh, the ancient, and meron siyang tatlo, the stone, the bronze, and then the iron ages. And your stone age, ay meron siyang tatlo, the paleolithic, the mesolithic, and then the other one, which is what you call the neolithic. While your paleolithic, ay meron siyang tatlo, which is your paleolithic is one under your stone age. So these are the lower, the middle, and then the upper. Okay, let's start with our stone age. So stone age is one of three in your ancient age. So this is a period of weapons made of stone, wood, bone, and some other material. So uh, at this stage, kumukuha sila ng pagkain ng, from the forest and they used stone, wood, and bone. Okay, para kumuha ng wild animals and then uh, kung paano magputol ng mga wild plants sa forests. Okay, so this stone age are subdivided into three periods as I have said. So these are the Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and then then Neolithic. So pag memorize class, especially with your exam, kasi face to face, is that when you say Lithic class, it is about the stone. Okay, when you say Paleo, Paleo means old, then Meso means middle, and then Neo means new. Yun lang. So Paleo, old stone, middle age, so on and so forth. Okay, they believe that during this period, okay, in the Stone Age, is that evolved from ape-like creatures into the true Homo sapiens. So, nanggaling naman talaga tayo sa Homo sapiens, which is sa ganito itsura. Okay, so like for example, if you notice here, nagkaroon ng changes because we came from the gamets of our parents. So, which means na hindi lamang uh, nabuo tayo be because of sa isang bagay, but almost with our parents. So from the genes from our parents, nagkakaroon ng changes at ang nabubuong anak ay nagpapakot. Okay, so science has yun siya. So let us first know about what is paleolithic. So when you say paleo means old and then lithic is stone, so which means this is a old stone age. So this is known as the longest phase of human history. Okay, so the tools here in your Paleolithic are made up of were made up of stones, the bones, so on and so forth. Okay, so the Paleolithic are subdivided into three. So these are the lower, the middle, and then the upper. Okay, so here is that uh, my changes naman during the. Uh, during the subdivisions of your Paleolithic period. May pagbabago. Okay. It says here, diba, mga han uh, hunters, ano kasi, they are called as hunter-gatherers. Okay. So they go into the forest para lang makakuha ng kanilang pagkain. But during the time of Mesolithic, nagbago na. So it involves the gradual change in the way humans live. Okay, so people began to learn fishing along rivers. Okay, so natuto na sila hindi lamang sa pagkuha ng mga halaman, mga wild animals and wild plants in the forest, but now they learn how to fish, go out fishing in the rivers, in the lakes. Okay, they, know, they knew already how to make pottery. Okay, so they used their bow para 
para kumuha ng fish. And they learn now how to propagate or how to uh, magparami ng plants. Natuto sila magtanim. At syempre, yung animal breeding. So kaya na nilang mag-alaga. And this time is that uh, dahil meron na sila mga alagang hayop, hindi na sila pwede magpalipat-lipat ng kanilang mga tahanan. So food in this period what was easily available. So nandiyan na sa kanilang tabi-tabi. Pag gusto nilang kumain, nandiyan na sa kanilang bakuran. In addition, they made microliths, smaller and more delicate stone tools. Okay, same pa rin. Nandun pa rin yung stone sa ginagamit nila. But may pagbabago na rin yung kanilang ginagamit. The third one is what you call the Neolithic. So the Neolithic during this period is that uh, they are mostly on agriculture. So they uh, developed their technology uh, mostly in the agriculture and it's characterized by wide domestication of plants and animals. So nagparami sila na nagparami ng alaga and use of stone tools. Okay, agriculture continued to expand all over the world, giving rise to the variety of civilizations. So lalong lumaki ang kanilang ang kanilang mga tanim, ang kanilang mga alaga. Ha? On that time, under the Neolithic, ang kanilang nagiging widespread, uh, naging malawak ang kanilang kalaman. Okay? para mag-expand in terms of agriculture. With the Stone Age, which is under the Ancient Age, they are divided into three, subdivided, the Paleolithic, the Mesolithic, and then the Neolithic. Your Paleolithic, it is under ng lower, middle, and then the upper. Okay, Lithic means stone. So when you say paleo, old stone, meso means middle, and neo means new. Okay, aside from your stone age, yung pangalawa is what you call the bronze age. Okay, this period started when almost all the tools were made of copper or bronze. So syempre sa stone age, they used their, their bows, the woods, pinakaluma, but now, natuto silang gumawa ng bronze, ng bronze or copper. Okay? Through extraction of metal from the ore called smelting. Okay? So, nakakabuo na sila ngayon ng kanilang copper or bronze under the bronze age. Next is the iron age. So, kung yun ay bronze, ngayon naman ay nakakapagpudus sila through smelting with an iron ore. Okay? So, medyo palalim ng palalim siya yung quality na papansin nyo, nagbabago na rin. Middle Ages. Number one is the ancient. Ang kasunod is the Middle Ages. The medieval period began with the fall of the Western Roman Empire. So, this is subdivided into two smaller ages, which are the Dark and the High Middle Ages. So, binasa ko to parang medyo magulo. Okay, pagtatandaan nyo lang, the Dark Ages under the Middle Ages is a term used for early Middle Ages. Kaya nga meron siyang high Middle Ages. Okay? So a period of time happened between the Roman Empire was from the start of the Italian. So this is the, uh, the high Middle Ages is the late under the Middle Ages. So this is the Discovery Age. Under your uh, Middle Ages, dito na nag-uumpisa ng discoveries. Okay, ano ba yon? Scientific revolution. So this is a period refers to the great scientific intellectual achievements. Ano yun? The universal model, which is under the Copernican heliocentrism. Ano ba yung pinaniniwalaan ni Copernicus, ni Nicholas Copernicus? That the sun near the center of the universe and the earth and the other planets orbiting around in a circular motion. So yun ang tatandaan nyo. Pag circular, pabilog. So, ibig sabihin, pantay-pantay kasi ang pag-ikot ng other planets to the sun. So, ang pag-ikot niya is circular. But, according to Kepler's, okay, so ganito siya. Okay, so, this is the sun. It's the center of the universe. And these are the planets. Pabilog ang kanilang pag-ikot. Pantay-pantay. Okay. But, kinontra ito ni Kepler. Anong sabi ni Kepler? According to Kepler, ang pag-evolve ng planet ng Earth or ng planets ay elliptical, not circular. Okay. Habang palapit sa sun, okay, okay, habang palapit sa sun, ay umiigsi ang kanyang pag-ikot. At palayo naman ay pahabang. 
So, ibig sabihin, mabilis ang pag-ikot dito. Pag lumalayo ay mabagal. Okay, it is created by Johannes Kepler. It states that all planets revolve around the sun is elliptical, not circular. Okay? The closer to the sun, move faster than the other. So, pag palapit na ang orbit or pag-ikot sa sun, bumibilis ang kanyang pag-ikot. Pag lumalayo, mabagal. So, nagkakaroon na parang hindi siya pantay. Kasi yun ang pinaniniwalaan ni Copernicus na pantay ang pag-ikot ng, ng, so, ng planets. Next is Galileo's work of motion. So this involves the discovery of the relations among distance. Okay, velocity, acceleration, and the law of inertia. Okay, so they used new scientific approach. So look at this. Okay, so this one. Oh, in the inclined plane, sabi niya, that the distance that there are different formulas na ginagamit natin during our physics time. Diba? So, hindi ko na masyadong palaliman yun. Okay. Newton's law of motions. Newton's laws of motion. So, meron siyang tatlong laws na ginamit, which is the first law of motion is what you call um, um, at rest. Okay? The second law, the, uh, there are different terms here na ginagamit sa inyong module, but in short is that, ang sabi ng, for, uh, sabi ng sabi ni Newton's uh, law of motion is that if uh, an object at rest, walang movement na nagagawa, hindi gumagalaw. Pero uh, if you are using your force to move on an object, this force is equal to the energy that you gave. Okay? So kung ano yung pushing mo, kung ano yung ginagamit mo sa pagpupush, this is equal to the distance na pinapwesto mo. Okay. Newton's law of universal gravity is that Newton's law of universal if the force of gravity is being exerted on objects on earth what is the origin of that force? Okay, it says here that he further realized that this force must be what keeps the moon in its orbit. So it's about the orbiting of the moon around the around the earth. Okay? So the moon kasi is the one that orbited the earth. Okay, kaya nga meron silang um, pag kinuvera na ng moon, ang sun, so that is what you call the uh, magiging madilim. Okay? It is between the solar eclipse and then the lunar eclipse. Okay, so that is the end of your module 1. So can you read uh, can you read your module 1? Kasi meron pang marami doon na sinasabi about the, about the inventions under the modern age, uh, under the uh, modern age, uh, middle ages, and then the modern ages. Okay, so thank you, and wait for the the grouping sa inyong um, recorded discussion, uh, sa inyong reporting. Okay, so take note class after the reporters, ay kailangan kong dagdagan yung reporting kasi meron tayong OBE. Okay, so ako ang magbibigay ng quiz, hindi ang grupo. Okay, so walang exemption. Only those reporters ay mapupunta doon sa points under your OBE, which is a part of your grading system, which is 50%. So 25 sa middle, 25 sa finals. Okay, so mapapasok siya doon sa ating non-test. Kasi ang quiz ay under the test. Okay, so that is the end of your of the discussion.